It's Sensei, bro. <laughs> Wearing sensei. those stylish sunnies. I'm trying to act like they care. They lost. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hate me, bro. <laughs> so, this is a match that uh, Vro often encounters here at JHQ, especially when Aurelia's is around. Uh, yeah, the know. Falcon match. Even that we just want to say, we always have Falcon. Yeah. The Midwest is just have... full of Falcon. Yeah, that's true. Us. Because we're, we want to play cool. It's either, it's, honestly, the Midwest is a place of two extremes. It's like, either, it's either you play Falcos really cool. Or Falcons. Yeah, you play really cool, you play really lame. Really lame. Oh, that was so cool. Wow, clean. that was the moonwalk you into. Know, I felt the salt there. It's like, oh, <laughs> Die, Elizabeth! Oh, no, who was it? Jeff. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Jeff. I actually want to see uh, Row Witness. I want to see him go in the Grand Finals. Oh, yeah, that'd definitely be. Uh, Bro versus, uh, Do you agree with that second up air right there? Because he mm. was close enough for a knee, but I don't, I'm not sure whether it was in the right position. A lot of the times, Marths go, or not Marths, um, Falcons. I think that you're going on the nipple spike. I'm not quite sure. Falcons go for the double up air, uh, I think just to be as safe as possible. But honestly, I a lot of the times when they go for the second up air, I do believe that they, they could have just had a free knee, but... I'm not the Falcon main, so. Sure. Uh, I don't agree with that up air. Usually, Ro is a lot more patient, especially when he's below the platform. All right, falling up air. That was yeah. He's throwing out these nares here, even though he's across the stage, and that's never smart. You want to control that habit or that instinct to protect your space with Mark. Because during those few frames, Falcon come up and grab you or either knee you, and it sets you up for a really bad position. Yeah, it's whenever Marts make those micro mistakes that Falcon can capitalize and oh, get, was great, get stuff yeah. like that, but oof. Uh, Jack just barely misses the follow up. But, uh, Rogue definitely the that crap. And that, that was, was the so idea smart. that so many people, like, come up with when he was, when, uh, Bro was on the platform and Jack went for the, uh, up B. Like, a lot of people, a lot of people say that, like, that's a really good idea and stuff. It, it is really creative. But a Earlier, lot of times it, it can miss. Yeah, that's true. Earlier with Rogue was amazing. It was so smart. He jumped up high to make it seem like he was covering the high option, but then he just dropped low with a back air to cover yeah. the low option after he was done from the animation from the Falcon. That was really smart. That's how you edge guard Falcon. And right now, oh, Ro with a little oh. bit of a tech chase, got him on the platform. That's where uh, Marth wants Falcon. That was him. a good sequence of, of events earlier right there, except that Ro kind of chopped it a little bit. Yeah. All right. I definitely should have ended his stock, honestly. Oh. Bro is definitely in control right now. He is, uh, he has got Falcon on the defensive. Mm, what I don't like right here is that even though Jack had control center stage, it seemed like he was panicking or hesitating. Oh, yeah. What I would like to see is more dash stance, for sure. To make it seem more ambiguous or, you know, when, when, when am I going to pros? Are you going to throw out something? But it seemed like he was just going back and forth. Like, Jumping with Nair is uh, expecting that Bro is going to approach, but there's no reason for Bro to approach even though he's ahead. Yeah. He's going to stay at that ledge. Bro takes that solidly 2-0. Uh, he definitely showed a lot of dominance that game, so it's going to be up to Jack to make the adaptations and, uh, you know, a good a good counter pick. Now, I know a lot of Falcons love to take Marth to FD. Uh, so but it's either going to be FD, Dreamliner, probably not. So... It says specify he can't. Oh no, it's loser sent me. Yeah, so there is a ban. Rogue Pro is gonna ban. What do you call it? FD. FD. But they go back to Dream uh, Battlefield. Battlefield. So let's see how this goes. Uh, Bro, right now with a little bit of a. Bro kind of botched that tension. Yeah. Oh, that was so smart. And that was Reset just. His invincibility. And that was a good wait by uh, oh, yeah, Bro Jack. Yeah, attempted a stall to make it look like he was gonna either go for a ledge or go onto the stage. That was great. Yeah, that was that was really safe option. Yeah, uh, that he could have really gone for the option. ten combo, but he was just like, no, I'm just gonna do what works. You may have noticed that Jack would uh, jump out of it to prevent the ten combo. Yeah. So we'll see. Oh, that was definitely supposed to be a pivot grab. Wow, Vro is putting out was, all the hitboxes yeah, in all the right places. He's covering all the right spaces with these hitboxes. And he's using the tipper hitbox. That way, uh, Falcon or Jack can't really approach or do anything about it. And he, he's just reacting to uh with dashing back, either to throw out the fair to protect the space, or he's approaching, closing the space, and pushing Jack to the, to the ledge every 
Every time he responds. Yeah, and also, what, one thing that uh, Ro is doing whenever he does put up a shield is he's just, he's he's putting up a shield at the right times in order to catch the, uh, yeah. the over, over, uh... Well, he's also using shield stopping, so he's controlling the minimum distance he wants to approach, and then he's throwing out a, uh, either a fair or a nair to protect the space. Yeah. He's trying to predict also when Falcon is going to approach. Yeah, he's catching those extensions. Yeah, and you, if you also notice, you never see uh, Ro really in the form of mental motion until he's already got a hit confirmed. Other than that, he's usually in neutral, throwing out a fair or retreating. Yeah. Which you need to do definitely as hard. And Jack right now, oh, off stage and dead. No, that's pretty much what you need to do. Don't be afraid to hit Falcon. He's free off the stage. And yeah. the great thing about the, the back, rising back here on the ledge is that it also reaches high enough so it covers the stage option but it also hits low enough so it hit it covers the ledge. Catch with the Raptor boost. Right um, now it definitely seems uh Ro is in domination this match. He's he's in control of the punishment game as well as the neutral game. But uh Jack gets a nice little raptor boost there. He avoids the grab because of the pullback and uh, gets a knee. Ooh, Jack did have him in the corner goes for the jab in order to apply pressure on the shield. Yeah, it seems right now that uh, Jack doesn't know how to approach. He's, he's confused. He's, he's like, I'm going to try and mix it up. But every time he does, it seems like Rose is reading it. Uh-oh. Oh. He, he Rode DI's a little bit too far into the stage. No, he just has to He pulled back a little bit too much during that. Yeah, yeah. Or pulled in. So, Rose gonna take. Oh, okay, that was. Yeah, that was only Loser's uh, semi. So it was two out of three. Rose takes it. And now, Loser's final.